Well, check out what I just found in the soil. Is it a witchetty grub or a potato? Hi, I'm Jam from Melbourne Food Forest, and today I have a most exciting edible for you. It's ochre, or New Zealand yam. And today I'm going to share some interesting tips about ochre, how to harvest it, and also we'll be featuring a very interesting taste test at the end of the video from our harshest critics. So stay tuned for that. Ochre is very closely related to oxalis, so you can see how just how similar the leaves look when it's growing. So a good tip I have is make sure you label the tubers as soon as you plant so that when it sprouts, you or unwitting family members don't accidentally pull it up thinking that it's a weed oxalis. Don't harvest the tubers until all the foliage has dried and turned yellow as this allows the plant to put all its energy into creating big, plump, juicy, delicious tubers for you to eat. This usually takes place around the shortest day of the year, so roughly early to mid-winter. Ochre comes in so many pretty colours, from this creamy white with red stripes to bright pink and purple tubers. They look like little gems and make it so appetising for um, us and children to try them. Now for the fun part, harvesting ochre. So get some gloves on and get your hands into the soil and dig, dig, dig and find those cute little gems. Once you've harvested, wash them clean and then leave under the sun to cure. This actually creates much sweeter, juicier tubers. And then you can store them away somewhere airy and dry, like in the pantry or in the shed. Ochre can be treated like a perennial in the same way as you would potato. So what you do is after harvesting, keep your best tubers and you plant these again in late winter to early spring. You bury them just slightly under the soil and for a large pot of this size, three to four tubers is more than enough to fill it with ochre again. They are also great to grow in grow bags. Top with lots of gentle compost and manures when you plant, but as with any root vegetable, avoid fertilizers high in nitrogen like chicken manure as they will promote leafy growth rather than the big tubers that you're after. And what you do is top up the compost or the soil during the growing season as everywhere where the stems touch the soil, more tubers are going to form. How do you eat them? Well, bake, steam or fry just like you would potato. You can also add them to soups and they can be eaten raw the leaves are also edible. They add a little lemony tang to salads. Now let's find out what some tough taste testers really think of this. It's pink looks like pomegranate. Like witchetty grass. Big one. I want to eat the 
What's it taste like? Can I have a taste, Mommy? Is it a bit like carrot? What's it taste like? Mm. Dee Dee, what I hope you try growing some okra in your garden. It is just so easy and so tough. If you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button and you'll find lots of juicy and delicious gardening content on your way. Thank you so much for watching. This one looks like a ninja person. This one looks like a one. This one looks like a big witchy grub. And this one looks like it has a face. The eyes, the two eyes, and the mouth. This one's really yellow. And this one's green. This one's tiny. This one's really big. And this one looks like a walking person, but with no hands. And has lots of eyes. And this is the mouth. like a tiny potato and this one's really tiny this one's teeny tiny this one's giant and this one looks like a fruit or a light that people can hold. This one looks like a person too. It has two eyes and it's eating something. 